All right, let's see. Tap into your energy a bit. What's going on for the Virgos today? And that says, face your fears for it is the right time and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Recognize your inner divine badass and commit to your dreams with conviction. Dumavati. It says, certain endings are unavoidable. They are necessary precursors to radical reinvention. Any disappointment, defeat, and or defeat or loss, and the negative repercussions of such experience experiences will not limit your future happiness, but are opening yet unre unrecognized pathways for fulfillment. Your trust must be unconditional at this time, and later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. Moksha of Kali. Relief shall come swiftly. Soon you will see things differently. You are going to be liberated from the struggle you are currently experiencing. Be true to yourself in your life path and you will attract the way forward. You will overcome all opposition, be released into improved circumstances, and be supported to bring your sacred path to fruition. Okay, so there's this energy of letting certain things go, letting things go that bring you nothing but, you know, stress or heartache or whatever. So let's see. What is going on? The void. Stop. Embrace winter, the great cosmic womb. Loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addictions, and let God in. Um, so, it's funny because in one part you're being told embrace, embrace the cold, embrace, you know, the darkness, embrace the winter that you're facing. Um, but you're also being told to lo loosen your grip and let go of certain things, right? So your your call is to embrace that which helps you grow, really, um, and let go of things that stifle it. Um, hmm, which deck do I want to use? Let's see. you're being called to let go of right and then we'll see what you're being called to hold on to um, because there's definitely the energy of both so what are you being told called to hold on to or yeah what are you being called, called to hold on to giving me the whole story okay perfect
So with the Five of Cups, it looks like you're focusing on things that failed rather than things that could succeed for you. It's like you're hyper fixated on something that it looks like it's already kind of said and done, right? The cup's already fallen over, it's already kind of whatever. Um, so that, I feel like, is what you're, you're being called to hold on to this feeling of, like, understanding why this is happening, right? You need to embrace, embrace the, the winter, right? You need to embrace what's falling apart here. Um, let it kind of do what it's got to do. Embrace the change as it comes. Um, five of Cups. It's kind of funny because what you're meant to embrace is also the very energy of, um, letting go. Right? It's kind of a paradox a little bit. It's like, when you look at things objectively, right, Queen of Pentacles, and you stand in your power, and you just kind of let things be what they are, right, then all your obstacles fade away with the hanged man, right? With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, I feel like resistance comes when you try to, like, dictate other people's lives or try to have certain outcomes um it's almost like the energy of like micromanaging the universe to get what you want <laughs> you know to have your which is very different from manifestation right um but it's kind of this energy of like when you go into that, then things get harder for you when you try to have all control over your outcomes. You don't get to have that. You get your present moment and that's it. Um, so you're really being called to just let things shift and change as they need to and quit trying to um, create resistance through, you know, Thinking that you know better than the universe. <laughs> uh, with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Right? It's like... You're in that resurrection, right? Of like, the situation has already ended. Right? This is already said and done. And it's like, you're still energetically kind of holding on to it. Um, why? I say that you're energetically holding on to it because the death card shows up in reverse and the seven of swords also shows up in reverse where it's like you don't let a situation end but also like it's like let's get the idea that you energetically poke the bear right like, you show up, you're like, in this energy of just seeing where you energetically lie with them, right? With the Seven of Swords in reverse being clarified by the Four of Cups in reverse, it's like, Whatever connection you're currently giving to, because there's another connection here, one that you're currently giving to and one that you're energetically trying, kind of giving to also, right? Um, but it looks like the one that doesn't reject you or the one that accepts you in this is the one that's not going to bring you, like, They're not going to bring chaos or destruction in your life, right? Um, I, I don't know a better way to word that, except, like, it's almost like you're fixated on an energy that you've already had to let go of, right? And then you started giving to another energy, and this new energy isn't going to have the same problems, you know? Isn't going to give you that. Yeah, energetically, you're still kind of, like, looking at the past, even though you've got a new thing, one that's 
more in alignment with you. Um, with the death card in reverse, it's almost like you refuse to you refuse to let it kind of be finalized. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you had to let go of something that you once felt was your wish fulfillment or like everything you ever wanted, right? With the Five of Pentacles, it's like you left it out in the cold. Um, and with the Two of Swords, you were fine with that at the time. But we're still in the energy of not letting that go, right? Two of Swords... More so than meaning that you're com that you're fine with this decision, it also means that you're very defensive in nature. It's kind of like you were in a relationship or a job. I mean, it could be a job. There's a lot of pentacles, but also pentacles is earth energy and you're an earth sign. So take it as it resonates. It could be a job, could be a relationship, could be, you know, whatever. Um, but how I see it is there was a connection, right, when that didn't work out, one that wasn't in your favor, um, when that you had to let go of, right, that was already said and done, and you move on into this new, um, connection, but it's like energetically you can't let go of this past connection, it's like there's something lingering, right, the Ace of Swords, I see you finally getting like a breakthrough here, but it's going to require you to embrace the new and let go of the old, really. And it doesn't have to be a fucking war. Just let it go. You know, I feel like when you create wars, when you create unnecessary drama, when you start trying to fight with people for no fucking reason, that's because you are overly obsessed with that energy right and so you don't want to be accidentally um overly obsessed with somebody that or with a past situation that is just not coming back for you right you need to stay true to your current and future you know What is your advice from spirit? King of Cups in reverse. To fall out of love. It's easier said than done, right? But honestly, it's like you intentionally stay in love. Um, and I say intentionally because the more you focus on them, even if you're thinking on them in terms of hatred or arguing or whatever, um, even if you're thinking of them in terms of negative terms, you're still keeping an energetic link there so that you can still stay connected to them. And that's something that you need to confront within yourself and be like, why am I keeping this energetic tie when it's not helping and you have a new connection that you should be more focused on? Um, something that does not turn away from you, you know?
taste before judging. Right? So you might like be like putting your own preconceived notions on your new connection and like maybe being extra judgmental towards them, which happens, you know, especially if we're in the mindset of comparing things, right? Comparing the past to the current and all that, you know. I think you're really being called to look at your new connection without the weight of your past connections, you know. You're kind of being asked to be more objective. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want, right? And if you keep saying that you don't want this, why are you energetically focusing on it? You know? Um, so, either that or you need to drop your new connection and save them a whole lot of hell and pain that you will cause them by being so hung up on your past. And that's, you know, just being honest, that's being real, you know, like, it's not that you're doing anything wrong or that you're a bad person or anything, it's like you're just trying to move forward. Sometimes you have to make sure that you're completely out of the past to move forward, and if you're moving forward, you need to be dedicated to that, to that moving forward aspect. Um... You're not constantly, you know, in that mindset of looking to the past, you know. Um, finding your peace. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.